Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Subway Fresh Fit 500. Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip for this annual Duel in the Desert. Mike, it's an interesting racetrack. It's one mile. It's been reconfigured, and they got that dog leg up the back, and that created, opened up some passing lanes, if you will. You can cut that dog leg, but you got to be careful when you come back up on the track. The one mile Phoenix International Raceway sits in stark contrast to the two and a half mile Super Speedway at Daytona. Today, we'll have a chance to see who the early season flat track specialist of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series is. Hello everybody and welcome back to our second NASCAR 15 season here at the Phoenix Raceway for race number four of the season here is with the number 48 low Chevrolet of course driver Jimmy Johnson's rear green and underway here in Phoenix on this opening lap already we're trying to go make a pass behind Brian Vickers and Ryan Newman with Vickers up the race track going to be some contact four wide racing nearly very close contact and inside the 22 which really all big wiggle huge slide he saves it almost crashes behind us and now here in the three four in the back of Ryan Blaney up into the wall he goes hard hit as we try to hang on to 10th place right now but the car is way too tight and it struggles to turn to the center of the corner so we're right now trying to hang on until the pit stops so we can make some adjustments you get to the back of the ET to Kyle Bush some contact but battling for 9th he's gonna go sideways Kyle's gonna save it and Casey Kane's gonna drive right through the side of us Tony Stewart there Truex more contact cars are sliding all over the place we're nearly wrecking unbelievable saves going on right now at the Phoenix race we're inside of Truex huge slide almost wrecking whoa the 55's in the fence I'm in the fence we're nearly wrecking oh my goodness Absolute chaos unfolding here at Phoenix. In the back of the 22 door, we move him out of the way as well. Now we're back into 12th place, but continuing to struggle with grip in this car as we struggle to make it work. As we clearly don't right now have the handling we need to really compete for the win right now. As we're just hanging on, as you see the car's way too tight, as we just go sliding up in the corner. As we try to turn, and that just allows Almanier back on underneath of us. We get the big run on next to the corner. We prevail into the 11th position. We go chasing down Tony Stewart running in the 10th position right now as we continue to slide around this racetrack way up high. Oh, into the wall right there. We hung on to it. Big wiggle. But we continue our charge forwards here as we look to try to get our second win of the season. Of course, we won at Atlanta a couple of episodes ago. But our last episode at Las Vegas, Matt Kenseth got the victory he's leading this race right now looking to go back to back wins if we'll see if you can pull that off here as we move on to lap six as you continue to chase down Tony Stewart for 10th here in the corner we get underneath Tony and look for the position right here when you go underneath a little bit of contact can be made use him up Stewart up to the wall we have physical with him <coughs> moving him right out of the way got into 10th place around Tony Stewart just fenced it right there but we move into 10th here with 25 laps to go. And now we move on to coming to 24 laps to go here on lap 8. We are chasing down Casey Kane for 9th. Trying to get this position to 1 and 2 here. Big corner, a little bit of a bump. He's going for the wall hard and the caution will wave. I don't know why they called the caution for that. That is an extremely questionable call IMO. As he gets back Kane hard in the wall, he goes. And he really doesn't complete stop. He keeps going. So I don't see why they had to call the caution. But NASCAR throws the yellow anyway, and so we're all going to come down pit road here. We have four tires and a full tank of gas, and we make a lot of adjustments to really make the car looser, and we're going to come out of the pits in 19th now, just on the borderline top 20, trying to see if the new adjustments will help us here as we charge into one two on this initial restart. And underneath, Clint Boyer and AJ Allmendinger trying to make it work there. Three wide, a little bit of squeeze. Use a boy all the way up the racetrack, almost putting him in the wall. We slide low, use the dog leg to our advantage. Here as we sail off here, coming to turns three and four. We go underneath the 24, Jeff Gordon in the back bump of the 21 car bush. Big wheel, Jeff Gordon goes up into the wall up there into Palmer. Our Menards into us. He actually straightens us out for a great exit to the corner here where we prevail in 13th out of Kevin Harvick. Crossover underneath Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Dale Jr., all the way under McMurray in the back of Vickers and Keselowski was in the wall. Big hand. The caution is out once again. Probably once again, another questionable caution call. As we see what happens here, we set it in, just clipped the two because he was up in the wall, but he doesn't come to a complete stop, so I don't see why she should call the yellow. He kept going once again, back to back questionable yellows here, Phoenix from NASCAR 15 officiating. Now we get back at it here with 18 laps, sorry, uh, tw yeah, around 18 laps to go, 19 laps to go here in Phoenix. We restart in fifth, go try to go underneath Case K. McMurray knew we got three for one special right there. You use one bumper to take out the other two guys. And with a 15 around, he goes into the wall. And the caution is out. That happened so quick. 
Well, so basically what happened in the corner, we saw the expensive wall, we came down the track, he just clipped the 15 and Clint Boyer, and Boyer goes spinning into the outside wall, we just send Boyer crashing, coming down the racetrack, trying to get the best apex of the corner, we stay out, restart second alongside Carl Edwards, but we're leading at the start finish line, it's going to be a side by side battle for the lead between myself, Carl Edwards, some contact in turn 1 and 2, he clips us, we go sideways, sliding through the corner, what a save, here comes Jeff Gordon, huge block thrown, Denny Hamlin now to our outside, as this battle continues, over here to three and four with 17 laps to go. The 11 Denny Hamlin behind us as we try to keep low, but the car still it's better, but it's still a little tight on entry of the corner. We slide up high. Hamlin clears us for the race lead. A big run from Carl Edwards. We go underneath him side by side for the at the line. 16 to go. The battle continues between myself and the 11 Denny Hamlin. This time we way overshoot the corner off into one and two, and Hamlin will come back underneath us here as we try to block behind him. We do, and we uh, cross over once again at Denny Hamlin. This incredible battle for the lead continues here on the street start of Phoenix. We clear Hamlin there slide off way deep into three and four yet again this time Denny's got big momentum and we're three wide now with Almondinger Edwards huge run though we clear them both get a run and with this time we're gonna try to shove Denny off in the corner give him a shot but it doesn't work as we just end up being tighter than we should be and we side out of the groove and Denny's gonna start driving away with it now contact now with the side of the 16 of Greg Biffle for a second big contact huge wiggle we both save it to get it back at 16, give him the bumper again up the track into Gordon. He goes there into the wall back there. And now we slide way up into the 16 again. This time he's in the wall. He gets into us. And we are both going to go in the wall. Kurt Busch gets by us. Jeff Gordon going to get by us. Here comes Almond. Here comes the whole field. So now he's back on the turn for Jeff Gordon up the corner. He goes all the way up to the wall. He saves it. We're once again side by side with the 47 of Almendinger for third place, bouncing off the wall, down the track, and the 34, David Reagan, there he goes! The 34, turning to the outside wall. Huge contact, and the caution comes out. There's the 34, we clip him and spin him into the outside wall as we were just battling hard for position, and then finally came to him with a crash right there. We are going to stay on the racetrack. We start second alongside Kurt Busch here with 12 laps to go. Denny Hamlin and others came down pit road. It's going to be a strategy battle, it looks like, unless we have some more cautions this race. Kurt Busch to our inside. Jeff Gordon behind us. We're going to be at the big lift. They're both going to get around us. Here comes Blaney in the 21 as well. And we just like that, we fall from the lead down to fourth. In the span of just this one corner. Now we send it deep into three. One to the side. Jeff Gordon up on the blaze. They both go into the wall. It goes to 21 and 24. They both lose positions. Kurt Busch wiggles. And now here comes the other Bush brother, Kyle Bush. On our inside, we hold them off and we lead the way here with 11 laps to go. As this battle continues and rages on here at the Phoenix Raceway, we got a Bush Brother duo behind us. We're about to be in a Bush Brother sandwich between Kyle and Kurt Bush. Jeff Gordon lurking in fourth, coming to 10 laps to go. Can we hang on and do we have enough gas to make it to the end? That's the question. Are we going to have enough fuel? to go the distance here at Phoenix and try to hang on and win this race. We'll see Kyle Busch to our end side. Big momentum, but we are going to power down and clear him here by the start finish line with the big runoff into turn one and two as we lead the race here with ten laps to go. We move on now to seven laps to go and we don't have enough fuel in the tank. We got to come down pit road and give the lead to the 11 of Denny Hamlin as we come in for our pit stop here. We're going to get four tires, full tank of fuel, and get the repair in the right front. It's not quite what we needed. Probably would have been better here to get right sides. We're going to clear pit stops. Left sides were okay, but still, we come for a full pit stop. And it seems Denny Hamlin's strategy may have worked out. He may have played us. Uh, we'll see where we come out and see. We're already dropping down to 25th already, losing so many positions. So we come in the pit lane. And now the pit crew's going to get down to business. Try to guess back out there to salvage whatever position we can as it seems we might end up on the wrong strategy here if the 11 does not come down pit road. Pit crew does a great job, gets us out. Good stop. We come out of the pits and 29th, 30th now as we run 30th place, one lap down to the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Basically one and a half laps down. We have to try to make that up in the next like five laps. It's going to be very hard to do. Denny Hamlin pretty much has this in the bag. Him and the guys on his strategy unless they pit. It seems we we got played there. So we're going to come out here 30th. The leader obviously is on four laps to go. So Hamlin will be coming to three to go this time. So he gets the back of David Gilland and the 98 of Josh Wise. We slide high up the right into the wall we go. Not what we wanted to do right there. As we try to chase down these guys in front of us. Our fourth position, of course, Gilland is for 29th. Josh Wise is 24th, and I guess he's a lap ahead of us, which stinks. Which means we're pretty much out of this thing. There's no way we're getting back into contention. Hamlin's already taking three laps to go. 
As we now go on the inside, Dylan gives Josh Pike a huge shot, send him off, nearly wrecked, we go up the track, and we into the wall we go, we all save it, but we all pound the wall back here, and we fight our way from the 28th, passing the 38th of David Gill in forward position, Denny Hamlin now takes two laps to go here at Phoenix, it's now his race to lose pretty much, and the back-to-back -back JGR wins with Kenseth at Las Vegas last episode, and now Denny Hamlin this episode here in Phoenix. As we cross the line now, take three to go for ourselves, though, because we're still alive down here in 28th. We pass Casey Kane, that puts us in 27th, as Denny Hamlin comes to take the white flag this time by. White flag, final lap, so we're kind of one back for the 11 of Denny Hamlin here in Phoenix. About to get his first win of the season. Of course, he won two times last season en route to a playoff appearance. This year, this season already starting off strong. This looks like a win here in Phoenix as we take two up to go underneath Michael Annette, who is a lap behind us, and we continue on trying to make whatever ground we can here. But we we lost the strategy game. We just messed up. Should have pitted when Hamlin did. Instead, it cost us the race and back to the line. Denny Hamlin wins in Phoenix. His first of the season. He is now locked into the chase through four races. We have four different winners. And we're going to come home to a very disappointing 27th place finish. It's not, not the way we wanted the race to go. Just strategy didn't work out for us. We end up 27th. One of those tough days. Can't do anything about it. We'll just move on to the next one out in Auto Club. See the race results. Of course, if you go all the way up to the top, Denny Hamlin, your race winner. Leading the most laps. Greg Biffle, your runner up. Carl Edwards finishes in third. Tony Stewart, fourth. And Kevin Harvick rounds out your top five. Then Matt Kenseth, AJ Allmendinger, Brad Keselowski, Brian Vickers, and Paul Menard round out your top ten here in Phoenix. Boyer finishes 11th. Newman, 12th. Dale Jr. in 16th. You have all the way down here 24th, Martin Truex, myself, of course, 27th, Kurt Busch, 29th, who's on our same strategy, as well as Kyle Busch in 34th, Jeff Gordon, 35th, Larson in 36th, and Kane in 38th, as well as McMurray, Blaine down there, Logano in 41st, and Bobby Labonte finishes last. So, Denny Hamlin dominates the final stage of the race on strategy and wins at Phoenix to lock himself into the chase. We come home 27th. Here are the standings. We fall down. Denny Hamlin, now your new points leader. And if we kind of calculate, we're about tied for second in the points right now with Carl Edwards because of the glitch point standings. But right now, with into the chase with wins are Denny Hamlin, Matt Kenseth, myself, and Jeff Gordon. They're four winners this season. On um, points, yeah, of course, Edwards, Biffle looking good, Tony Stewart Jr., Vickers, Menard, Harvick, Keslowski, Truex, Helco, Witt's doing a hell of a job, Almond or Newman, Kane. And you see around there, Boyer, around 20th in points. McMurray, Larson just outside the top 20. Kurt Busch down there. Outside the top 30, Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch, Choi Logano. And surprisingly, bad spots in the points is Bobby Labonte is last in the points right now. So until next episode, I hope you all have a good one.